Welcome to Rousseau Inspired Collages set in the jungle. I've got a piece of A3 paper and I've wet the top half with just ordinary water and now I'm using blues in my watercolour set to create a sky colour for the top part. I'm putting it aside to dry and here are my bits of found paper. I have a drawer full of paper that I just keep that I can use for things like collaging and I'm drawing and can you see that I folded my paper in half I used two pieces folded in half so each time I cut I'm getting at least four little elements for my collage now I'm doing some flowers to add in and as I cut them out you can see that the little designs from the found paper show on some and not on the others and I'm using a mix of plain and decorated paper so I think it'll just give it a little bit more interest and depth I'm going to do lots and lots of these little leaves and they're going to need a tree I think. I'm going to do some runners, some vines, different shapes, different spaces and what the idea is is that I'll have lots and lots of trees, leaves and plants to layer to get my Russo jungle effect. The reason they're so interesting and full of depth is because there's trees on top of trees and then creepers coming down from trees and things growing from in and out and behind bushes. You can see me sketching out some of the elements and others once I've had a little sketch and a cut. I've got my scissors kind of making a pattern in my brain that helps me to cut things out in the shape without even drawing them, especially things like simple leaves and grass shapes. See, that's what my leaves will look like when I'm done. Here I go, cutting out a few more bushes and shapes and creepers, things to hang down. And then in a second, I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to start putting my whole collage together. Time to do the green at the bottom. I let the blue dry a little bit so that the colours didn't mix too much. Given that I'll be layering so much over the top, it doesn't matter too much, but it's good to have a nice solid background to give your picture some depth. Doesn't take very long to do a quick watercolour wash. A few more flowers and bits and I'll be ready. Final stage. My picture's not quite dry, but it's dry enough. I've got a big lot of PVA glue and I am being quite careless and sloppy about the way I put it on because it doesn't matter. I don't want to sit there carefully putting bits of glue on the backs of things, so I'm throwing the glue on the page, knowing that the glue will dry all clear and see through if I leave it overnight or even just for a couple of hours. So I'm making patches of glue to put my leaves into and I'm collaging layers and layers so I'll put one on and then I'll cover part of it with another and I want to get the depth in my collage that Rousseau has got in his paintings. <laughs> 